switch that goes on, and it's like it's the disobedient switch. Yeah. And like this this girl used to come to the age of 13. It's like uh, morning, William. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. Can I have Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Scott Johnson, acting principal at Henry Lord Middle School. We're here and ready for our national walk to school day. Do you see me holding a skateboard? No, I can't. No, you can't. You can't. It's weird. It's so. It's like this. It just looks like that. You can wear it all day long. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty nice. Maybe two more minutes and we'll get going. Yeah, we're gonna start the walk. Go, take pictures. Go. Okay, all right, guys. Be careful. Right there. Kevin. Hey. Oh, on the inside. And we have a very special guest with us this morning. The Honorable Mayor Flanagan is with us, and he's going to say a few words to you. Okay, so let's clap for the mayor, okay, and welcome us to the Thank you to Mr. Ward and Mrs. Picard for inviting me here today, and all of your teachers for walking with you since March. And I want to thank the parents, your parents who are here today, for being a part of this walk. And I'm so happy to be here with all of you to start the school day, to get a nice walk in before we start the morning exercises. So I just want to say have a safe walk. I'm looking forward with you. If you see me slagging behind, push me a little bit to get me to keep up with you. And uh, thank you for having me. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Mayor Flanagan. So, Mayor Flanagan is so right. Okay? I know our first thing we worry about is safety. And many of you are experts because, like I said, you've been doing this for two or three months. So make sure we stay on the sidewalk. All right? We want to get you to school safe. But remember, who can give me some good reasons why this is a good way to start your day with exercise, with eating healthy, with walking to school? Who can give me some ideas? Just a couple of friends. I know a lot of you know. Dakota, nice and loud. So we can have energy for the day. So you can have energy for the day. You're right. Just get your blood flowing. It gets you some, some blood to your brain and you're ready to learn. What are some other ideas? Yes. It's, it's like healthy for people and stuff like that. You got it. It's healthy for your body. It's just good for you to walk naturally. Get you get you started. Anyone else? One more idea, Jaden. Um, exercise every day. Ex why do we have to exercise every day, though? To stay in good shape. Right. To stay in good shape. Right. Keep yourself healthy. It's good. Your doctor will be happy with you. I know a lot of you have some ideas 
but we got to get started with our walk because it's 8 o'clock and I want you to get to school on time. I'd like to welcome some of our teachers here, our third grade team who just joined us for our walk. And we have two present teachers in the back. Yes, they are here. And the parents, thank you. Mrs. Bonanca as well as I'm looking around. Am I missing anyone else? Mrs. Bonanca, another teacher, first grade team. So thank you. All right, so are we ready to walk? Yay! Tell us what's happening here. So we have two large groups of Tansy students and parents. We have one group that are biking to school and getting ready to start thinking about that, using that as a way of transportation to school in the morning. And we also have a large group that is walking with us this morning, getting some nice exercise. I'm the phys ed teacher at Durfee High School, and we're out here today on this beautiful day for uh, the walk to school day, to see, uh, doing it citywide. Um, started by with Marsha Picard, and she asked us if we would do it because the uh, elementary schools were walking to school today. The middle schools were going to participate either walking to school or walking during the day, so you know, we said we'd be happy to do it at Durfee High School where the students would walk during their phys ed classes. So uh, we should have over a thousand students walking uh, for at least a half an hour uh, during their phys ed class. Uh, all day today. Um, hi, I'm Joel Jocelyn, the principal of the Green Elementary School, and uh, one of our emphasis is obviously physical education, really as a component of the intellectual uh, piece. Uh, obviously, as kids exercise, they're healthier, and they are able to to really learn more. And I think this is a an awesome opportunity for really to keep awareness of the need and I think that's the most important piece building the awareness within those children that physical education is a daily thing walking exercising can be fun and there's also the health aspect of it and we try to reinforce that uh, through the PE and health classes that what they're doing here should be just a, a really a lifestyle 
well said. And, 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 and the awesome. walking too that doesn't cost yeah. you any money. It's a Absolutely, way to, to physically yes. exercise physically without uh, to having to spend money. Yeah. Uh, I'm Marsha Picard. I'm the Fall River School Wellness Coordinator. I work for Partners for a Healthier Community. Today is Massachusetts Walk to School Day. Students from all across the state are walking uh, in one way or another, either to school, around their schools, during their physical education classes. We are, I am beyond thrilled to say that in Fall River, uh, for this year's Massachusetts Walk to School Day, we have participation from every single one of the public schools, all 16 schools. Again, some are walking to school, some around during the day, and some during their physical education classes. We anticipate about 6,500 walkers. Again, it's a statement to, um, to walking, to physical fitness. There is such a strong connection between physical fitness being and being academically sound, um, where experts are telling us that if children continue the poor reading habits that they have and the in inactivity, that theirs will be the first generation in history to have a shorter lifespan than the generation that preceded it. That's pretty scary. So by letting students know that by just walking, they're doing something good for themselves, Certainly, if they're walking to school, they're doing something good for the environment. So we're very pleased that Green School is one of, among the many who are um, participating in today's Walk to School Day. Stop right in the bottom of this row. We're going to do our hot rate. All right, okay? Yep. Give that car.